Welcome back to my channel everyone. This is Donnie and today the diamond painting that I'm going to be showing you it was supposed to be a sneak peek but it didn't arrive to me in time. It kind of was really really late so um, I'll show it to you. Uh, it is sold out but you can get on the notification list for when it comes back in stock and I actually may have an extra one to give away. So stick around if you want to see what it is. All right, guys. I don't know if you're going to be surprised about this, but it is a Randall Spangler. And it's square, like most of them are going to be for the uh, short term until Diamond Art Club is able to get their um, round drill issue taken care of. And this one's called Dog Bookshelf, and here's an image of what it looks like. It's a big one, guys. It's uh, 125 centimeters by 56 centimeters, which comes out to be 49 inches by 22 inches. So, so yeah, um, but it's adorable. Oh my gosh, if you can look at the image up close, uh, you can actually go, I'll leave the link down below so where you can look at it um, on Diamond Art Club's website because, it, like I said, it's already been released and you can just, you can read all the titles that are on the books. There's th It's really cute, but I'm going to show this to you and see if I can show you where all the ABs are going to go and we'll look at what is in the toolkit and what extras I mean what unique things that I will have in here I'll do that first actually real quick it's um there it's still the black pair of tweezers I don't know if I've seen another pair of the pink ones yet but here you get the the pointy black tweezers you get let's see I'm getting yellow in this one you get a you know drill pin and <laughs> um, this one actually has a yellow squishy to match and it's got a goldish colored washi tape it this isn't the newer uh, tray this is the well it's the newer tray but not the newer newer tray this is the harder plastic and they've replaced these they started do doing um the softer type plastic in their toolkits. Here's the uh, the little heart container with your two pads of wax. And it looks like I got, I don't know what that shape is. There is something on this cover minder. I'm not sure what it is. Um, looks like it's been, oh, it's pretty scratched up. But mm, it's bl blue and I don't know if it's supposed to be a butterfly or what, but tell me if you can tell what that is, because I don't know. Um, let's see if I can get in the actual camera. Yeah, it's blurry. There. Yeah, tell me if you know what that is, because I, I don't know if it's just splotches of paint or if it's a bee. Can't really tell. So... You also get your baggie, full of baggies, and you get the tray stopper. It goes in the tip here. And, yeah, uh, there, like that. And then you get a seven placer and a four placer. And it's always good to have extras of these because they do wear down over time and you have to replace them. I carry the line of these that go from three all the way to 15. So if you're interested in those, the link will be down below. And all right, then I'll get this put away in a flash. Okay, now here is the journal sticker. I like to call it a journal sticker because that's where I put it in my journal. It has a, uh, tells you the shape. The, uh, the artist and the size of your diamond painting. I like to put them in here in my journal. So I have a 
image of what it is I'm referring to. Now this diamond painting is $79.99 full price. If you've never ordered from Diamond Art Club before, you can use the my code down below for 20% off your first purchase. Or if you've ordered from them before, you can use the different codes that you can find around on your canvas, on your packing slip, on their website, different places. But generally, the first time purchase, you get a bigger discount. So um, it does help me out a little bit and supports my channel if you use my code. And now we are going to look at this massive canvas. Um, it's really heavy. And we have our tarpaulin canvas in here. It's a really soft blankety material that is, the purpose of that is to uh, make your canvas self-flattening when you unroll it. And it retains it, your color for a life, the color on the canvas for a lifetime. And that is kind of important to me. So let's see. Oh my gosh, this is just adorable. And actually you can read the names of the books here because it's that big. You can see them. Um, there's 53 colors and uh, let's see, four of them are AB. But we've got On Golden Lawn, The Dog, The Cat, and The Wardrobe, A Tale of Two Doggies, The Cocker in the Rye, The Tale of Puppy Rabbit, Alice in Puppyland, The Da Vinci Collie, Harry Poodle by J.K. Howling. <laughs> That's cute. Um, Valley of the Dogs. Jonathan Livingston Beagle. Black Lab Beauty. And then The Adventures of Barkleberry Finn. Oh my gosh, it's got a chihuahua down here. Oh my gosh, isn't this the cutest? They're all puppies too. They're so cute. Yeah, and you can actually see the majority of the canvas here. So I'm going to go over and show you where the ABs are going to be. Um, this is our massive bag of drills. I'll show you here in a minute. Um, inside here are some helpful QR codes and instructions on how to diamond paint. If you've never diamond painted before, they can be quite helpful. And here is your inventory slash sticker. So this is a big sticker that you can use however you want to. I have some ideas um, in a different video. But with Diamond Art Club, you know which ones are going to be AB by looking at the color code. And if you can look on here, we see the first four numbers, if I can get it in the camera, are below number 150. That means they're going to be AB. So 113, 120, 134, and 141 are all ABs. Our first one is, looks like it's, uh, well, I've been having to show this up close on the last few videos because the colors are slightly different here. I'm going to zoom you in so you can see. So one looks a little different than the one on here, but it's still going to be some kind of a pink color. Two is going to be a blue three is going to be a green and four is the white color. So I'm going to look for one, two, three, and four on the canvas and tell you where those, uh, AB drills are going to be. And starting with the adventures of Barkleberry Finn, I see white in the eyes, just one each in the eyes. And there's going to be a couple here in the, the green of the book where it's got a little bit of decorative in, in whatever you want to call it but there's some threes there's three there and three there and same at the very top we've got some we have a couple of threes and then we have a four and that's it for this book and on to the next one black black lab beauty Black, no, black, does it say black lab or black the beauty? No, it's lab. 
All right, so we have a little bit more of the threes up here in the greens and then the whites that you can see. I'm gonna bring this down a little bit. And so the white dots you see there, those are gonna be AB. This black, this background here is not all one color and they're, they're the letters T and Y. So it could play with your eyes after a while, but that's two different dark colors. One's brown, it looks like, and the other one may be black. Let's see. Uh, T is a uh, black brown, so it's a really dark, dark brown. And Y is 938. So, so they're two different colors of brown. And all right, so we have more of the fours here the white, and then we have some of the pink, the number ones right in here. Let's see. I don't see any more of the colors on this one. Number two, the blue is gonna be in here, this lighter blue color. So you're gonna find it, you know, inside of the, between the letters, there's some number twos, and the letters, are, of course, are gonna be black. The, but that's the only blue on here is just basically right in here. Okay. And we got a couple more of the pinks right there. And it doesn't look like there are any more on this doggy. Moving on to Jonathan Livingston Beagle. We have some of the fours, the whites up here in the paw. And we have some of the ones up there too. I mean, as well, and then more of the ones here. And I'm trying to see if there's any ABs mixed in here, but it doesn't look like it, because the green would be number three. I don't see any in the book itself. There's a four here and some ones there. There's fours in his eyes. One of each, one on each. And there's some fours in the feet. So there's some white on both of his feet here. Can't really see here. Right here, here, and here. All right, so that's Jonathan. And then Valley of the Dogs we have, let's see, I'll look up close. There's just there's some fours up here, one there, one there, and one there. And there's some of the, the green AB up in this part right there. Then you have some ones in this spot right here. And that's it for that part. And you have a couple of threes, well, a handful of threes right in here. And that looks like it's that's it for the book part. Let's see on the dog. Uh, there's a lot of colors in this diamond painting. Some symbols here that I haven't seen used in a long time. But I don't see any more AB in this doggy. The poodle here, Harry Poodle. He has, or she, he is Harry, so. She has... A bunch of number four in her fur his his fur it's hairy so I'm guessing this is a boy and so yeah you're gonna find the the white AB all mixed in with the, in the dog now when I do this diamond painting I'm probably gonna do just to make it more fun is I'm gonna do one one book at a time I might go and do the outside last or something like that i don't know but i think it would be really fun to do it that way um seeing how they are they, they could be separate diamond paintings because they're books but there's a lot of the fours in here especially even in the eyes there's two and then the book the the name itself all this white that is a b white and you have more of the white up in here around here and then you have some threes and you have more fours up here and another four there. But it uh, looks like it for Harry Poodle. 
Yep. And then we have the Da Vinci Collie has green ABs over on this side. And then there's a white AB. And then there's one white AB and one green on this side. Then we've got some fours, a bunch of them actually in the white areas. One starting right here around the nose, the snout on the chin. You got a bunch in here and then you get some more on the feet. And but that's the only color this one's going to get on the dog is number four, the white. You get a little, like I said, a little green in the other parts. And then we got Alice in Puppyland. We have more of the green ABs up here. And let's see, I'm trying to hoping we get some more of the blues because we haven't seen much of those. But it doesn't look like it. No, there's one four right there and then some more of the threes. And then you have, oh, nothing else. Nothing else on this one. That's a shame. I would have liked to have seen more of the blue maybe going on through here like they did on the other one back there. All right, the tale of Puppy Rabbit. The words are AB. There's more AB up in here. The, there's the white and then there's the green. Got some of the green. And you have a couple of the blue up here. Not many though. Like four. And then more of the green here. Um, the white are going to be right here and there and there and there and there and there. But not there. And then you get the words of course. And going down here, you get the white right here and one there. Then you got some twos, not very many. Again, there's like six. And then we move down to the dog itself. Lots of the fours. There's a lot of the white AB in this one, in this whole diamond painting. It's going to have a lot. The biggest color is the white for the ABs. But you get some in the head. And there's some in the body, not as much as the others, but there's a little bit and a little bit down at the feet, right in here, and a little bit here. And it looks like that's it for Puppy Rabbit. Then we have the Cocker and the Rye. And again, there's only a white here. There's no, no blues. And there's a white there and there and there and there. And the, there's a couple in the eyes. And that's it for the dog part. And then we move up here. Let's see, number three is the green, but I'm not seeing any of it in this one. I see more fours up here and there. But... I don't see any, oh yeah, there's a little bit of twos, a little bit of two right there, but I don't see any of the greens, number three. All right, so A Tale of Two Doggies is next, and let's look at the top. We've got some threes in there, and a four, and that's it for up here. And the words are going to be white AB. And then you get one white AB here. You get, you're going to get some um, white ABs right here and here. One in the uh, each eye. A little bit around there. And um, a little bit down at the feet here. Right there and right there. So not many on that one either, except, well, there's quite a fit, bit if you count the words and everything. The dog, the cat, and the wardrobe. You have 
a few in the white areas of the dog, starting down at the feet. You get some here and here. And on his nose, right, going around that way. And, and, and some right over here. Number four, you also get one there, and then you get some threes a little bit. Mm. And then at the very top, you get one there, one white there, and one white there. Then you get a handful of greens here in the middle. And I think that's it. I don't see any of the blues. Number two. Nope. This is a long one. We're on the last one, but on Golden Lawn. Let's see. The eyes have one each in the eyes. And skimming over as quickly as I possibly can without missing anything. I don't see threes, but I see some twos right in here. A four here. And that looks like it's going to be it. So there's a lot of white. There are just a few of the other colors, and they're spread out between all the books. But white has quite a bit of AB. And, you know, you can always add more ABs if you want. If you have extras not going to hurt anything but this is a very big canvas guys <laughs> very large so the there's going to be a lot of drills so let's get into the drill portion and dig into this monster Okay, I'm done fighting with that, so now I can show these to you. All right. Our first string of gems, well, not gems, but drills. Um, let me zoom in a little bit more for you here. All right, there we go. And here is our first AB drill. It's the pink, which is number one, I think. And you can see how the coating on there gives off extra glints of uh, sparkle. That's because the coating on there is a special coating that changes colors depending on which direction you look at it, which angle you look at it from. So they've named them AB, short for Aurora Borealis, because it reminds us of the northern lights. So they look really pretty. They give your diamond painting a zap of sparkle in those spots. So here's actually um, number two as well, our blue. And let's move on and see if we can find another AB. Yep, here's our green, number three. You can see that extra coating there. Strangely, this is one of the colors I thought that was in the background, but I might have been wrong. I thought that was the background color. I've got cat hair all over the place. I don't know why. Maybe because I have two cats with long hair that are shedding for the summertime. And... All right. Yeah, it looks like there's going to be quite a bit of the white because they didn't make it into this first string, which has the least amounts of color in them. But this gray color, we have two bags of that, but they're not the really big bags, so that's still not too bad. All right, so let's get the next color. I mean, the next bag of drills... And the next string of drills. All right. 
There we go. We get, you see there's going to be more and more in each bag as we move along. I mean, there's quite a bit of colors, but there's a lot of uh, browns and grays because of dogs. That's You don't see many purple dogs, so but we do get some of this purple because one of the books is a purple color. I love purple. So, okay, here's that background color I was talking about. I do get 3371 mixed up with that other number. But here is the part of the background color above the bookcase. And here's our three tens, which there's not a whole lot. There's, you know, well, three bags. Like I said, these aren't the hugest bags they have either, so that's not too bad. And then there's two bags of this 814 maroon color, or wine, or whatever you want to name it, or whatever its name is. I'm not sure. And the next one. And we have one more after this. And there's the... Okay, so here's 995. There's a lot of this blue color. It looks like there's... Oh, there's two bags. This color looks similar, but it's a little lighter. Right here. And then... Here are the white ABs. And the white, I have found that you can see that coating a lot clearer on the white bags. The bag of whites. So that's what a good view of AB drills looks like. And then more greens, other colors. Lots of little browns. Well, that's two bags of 976. Two bags of 402. Two bags of 498. I mean, guys, this is a really big diamond painting. I mean, um, two bags of 400. It does have 112,224 drills total. So, <laughs> yeah. Let's look at that last strip of drills here. And look at 301. We've got three bags of that. Um, 8.98, there's two bags. Uh, 9.38, there's three bags of that brown. And then, up it over here, 3.776, there's three bags of that. And then, single bags, it's like beautiful green. Looks like an emerald green to me. 321, that's a pretty red. You get two bags of that. And then 3826, two bags. And then your final 3825. So there you have it, guys, ladies, gentlemen, diamond painting enthusiasts. There you have the entirety of Dog Bookshelves by Randall's Dog, Dog Bookcase by Randall Spangler. And this should be a fun one to do. Let me know what you think. Did you end up buying it when it was released? And are you planning on buying it if you weren't able to get a chance? If it is one that you are interested in and you're not willing to wait for it to come back in stock, you know, keep watching because I will have a, I will have, I promise I will have a giveaway very soon. I just have to figure out how I'm going to do it. And I, you know, I have four different, at least four or five different diamond paintings from Diamond Art Club that I'm going to actually do giveaways on. So keep watching and you'll get a chance to get this if you didn't before by entering the giveaway. And I will see you guys in my next video. So have fun diamond painting and don't forget to always sparkle wherever you go and whatever you do. Take care, everyone. Bye.